Hello guys. I'm in here doing a little projects just here and there, just experimenting more than anything. This here ain't dry, so the reason I'm holding it like I I making these little candle things that kind of look like wood. We have a lot of sycamore trees around our home and they've got the prettiest bark. I love sycamore trees. Before they start peeling their beautiful plants, as they start peeling their beautiful um but I kind of like these, I'm, my decorative style is kind of, I'm a very neutral person for one thing. A lot of people say I'm too neutral, but oh well, it's me. And I kind of like a farmhouse, cot, I like some cottagey accents, I like uh, some primitive accents. I'm just kind of a modge podgy of things I like, old stuff, I really like old stuff. But I like some modern flair to things as well. So, I thought about these candles. I have bought these candles. I've got one more left. I've got two of them done. I've got a candle opera, as you'll see in this video. And I've just finished these two. And this is my third one. I dropped this one, so I glued the bottom back on. So hopefully it's together. But I got these at the Dollar Tree. They are just a simple little candle. You can see that. I'll flip that line off. You can kind of tell they flicker. You can see that. And I uh, thought they're too white. You know, they're just too white for my scenery and all that. So I was going to go with a straight primitive look and it wasn't quite looking like I was wanting it to look. So these started looking like kind of like the sycamore bark. And I thought, hmm, well, maybe I'll go with that. So I'm, this is an experiment. And I actually am glad I done the two first because I found out things that I did like better and don't like better. So, you know, you can play with it yourself and figure out your own. It's pretty forgiving because I had to re redo one of them and they it worked out pretty good. But anyway, you take your Mod Podge, and this is part of what I found out. It does better, for it has for me, if I cover the whole thing. The first one I made, I covered the whole thing. The second one I made, I didn't, and I wish I had it, so I had to go back and put some more on it. Because you can always take off, but it's harder after you get, you know, it not if you ain't got it all the way on there. Plus, it being so white, it kind of still, even the whiter part gave it a little dingy look. So that made it look better as well. But anyway, cover the whole thing with some Mod Podge and you can make your own Mod Podge with some Elmer's glue and I thin it down with some water basically is all you have to do and I took my if you remember I had my little allspice bag that I've done my Christmas bells with so I took it and I put it in a pie pan and I rolled my candle in it you might have to press it down on there a little bit to get it to cover good it's like I said you know you can always take some off so you can get get it pretty pretty thick on there at first because that's part of the process is taking some off and there you see I pretty well got it covered then I took my finger I actually put a little bit of coffee grounds in this too I didn't put many in this type of candle here because I do that sometimes with primitive stuff but these here, I didn't think I wanted them to be too thick of that. And so I wiped off quite a bit. And it still wasn't quite like I wanted it. So I thought to myself, you know, which that right there, if you just want a straight primitive look, would be all right. Pretty good, you know. That's pretty good. I still didn't care for the white spots. So I was afraid to paint them because this type of material, I wasn't sure if it would dissolve or whatever with spray paint them because a lot of my primitive stuff I'll spray it with a darker paint first and then do these things and you don't get all these really light spots and so that's what brought me to the idea of doing them to look kind of like that bark and so then I thought well I was almost thinking I was not going to do it and I went over to the sink which is what I'm about to do and I wiped, washed my hands off a little bit and I left my hands wet, and I came over here, and I just grabbed my candle, which is what I'm about to do. So I just shook my hands off in the sink. They're still wet. And this was an accident. And I just had my hands on this, and I started rubbing. 
with my hands wet. So it was kind of just coming off in spots. I actually might have shook those too hard. They dampen them here a little. Alright, let's try this again. And I started rubbing. And it started thinning out in spots as you can tell. And then after it started getting a certain look, I thought, hmm. But then I start just rubbing it one way because when you do that, it kind of makes it look more like the bark. It kind of blends it in more than just going up and down. And just keep rubbing it till you get kind of a look that you like. It turned out pretty cool. I like to do a lot of just random things like this in the winter. I usually sew a lot in the winter. I haven't quite got my uh, sewing room put together completely yet. We're using it right now as a tool room slash sewing room, craft room. And I might have actually got a little bit too much there. I don't know. But anyway, that's how I did it. Probably too. And you can turn them around where you like the prettiest spot better, too. But I thought those would be neat at night whenever the lights are out. Uh-oh. That one blew. No, it didn't. When the lights are out, I thought that would be neat looking. And it's sitting above my fireplace anyway. So, that's what I did with that. And I also made, my hands are all nasty. I had a couple of candles that I was work, I've been working on some um, primitive uh, uh, holders for some candles. And they're basically out of cans and just odd and end things, things I find around the house. I actually found a, uh, when I was getting my Christmas stuff out, I found a little thing that I might use too. I'm going to experiment with that as well. But what I did to these, because they were white candles, and I just wanted them to look old and rustic-y. And so I just took my lighter, which I dropped my lighter in this little bowl of water, so. And I just took it by the end and just kind of done that real quick. Kind of just soften it just a tad, not to where it's melty looking, unless you want that melty look to come down. That might be good. I might even, I might even go back and try that. I don't know. Uh, I'd try it with something you didn't care about as bad first, just because of these kind of experiments, you never know what you're going to come up with. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And after I softened that up a little bit, I took my little baggie that I had my allspice in, threw it down in there, shook it up real good, shook it off, and there I made my little candles. And this one here is crooked, as you can see there, but I'm just turning it around that way. You won't really know. So I like that rustic -y look. It's just cute to me. I love it. And I think that's it. I'm still working on apples. I bought me a bunch more apples off that clearance rack yesterday. And I love this time of year for fruits and stuff like that. I didn't get no more bananas. I've been already eating on my bananas that I've done. And, you know, drying anybody's dried food, they know that... All those bananas I had, which I've ate some, I've probably, this was probably three-fourths full. So I got that, and I've been adding my apple chips as I get them, and I've done eight a jar full of these. So those that I had last week, or week before last, they're pretty much gone. They might have been 10 or 15 in the bottom of this one. But that's been a blessing, so grab your excess reduced produce even though and you know I actually found out that I got some oranges the other day too and they were the organic oranges so I was excited about that because I, I dried the um, rind off of uh, in my de de dehydrator and then ground them up in my coffee grinder or in your pet mortar and pestle or however you want to do it and uh, so I got me some good orange Run to throw in different things that you make. But I think that's it for now. But until next time, I thank you guys for watching. I ask you to like the video and share the video and leave me a comment if you'd like. I'd appreciate it. And I thank you guys. I hope you guys have a good week. Till next time. And oh, I wanted to share something else I got yesterday. I went to Booth City yesterday. That's where I go to the store at most of the time because it's local in here. Um, but anyway, I used to have years ago, probably, well, my oldest daughter was little, and she's 28, so um, she was little. So I had a cycleman plant, 
and it had red blooms on it, and I love that plant, and I guess it must have eventually died on me or whatever. But I have been watching, I always look at their clearance thing at our Food City Floral Department, and they had uh, some cyclamen plants that they were getting rid of last, a week before last, and for like $5, from $8, these small little 4-inch pots, uh, from five dollars from eight dollars to five dollars I think it was and I thought, uh, but that week was a little tight so I didn't I didn't get it and I thought I really want one of those so badly and went back this week and this one little booger see it's still pretty was left for 50 cents I was so excited it actually had the pretty little pink wrap stuff that they put on them and all that but I took it out because it felt like it had a little bit too much water in it and cyclamen's they don't like too much water. If you, these are something you really want to water from the bottom up, just like your violets and stuff. I have no idea what color it's going to be yet, and it'll probably die off. The, the leaves and stuff will probably die off before spring gets here, and that's fine. That's what they do. They generally start coming back around February or March because they're kind of like a tuber and um, start back again. So... But I was excited, 50 cents for this little booger. It was $7.99. That's awesome. I was excited. So I took it out of that so it could breathe and get some air so the water would. But you do, if you ever get a cyclamen, and that's C-Y-L-C-A-M-E-N, I think is how you spell it. Uh, they, they come in different colors, red, hot pink. Uh, a lighter pink, a white, uh, fair, variegated, they've got, or, uh, what am I trying to say? Some, that I've seen some white ones that's got like a burgundy center in them and stuff like that. So I have no idea what color this one is. The ones I had before was a real bright, hot pink, almost a red. So I'm excited to find out what color it's going to be. But I probably won't find out till spring. Pray that it does good. Because I, I really am excited about it. But anyway, I want to share that. I get excited whenever I get deals like that. My husband, he makes fun of me because we'll go to um, birthday parties and different things like that. And somebody will say, oh, I like your shirt you got on or something, you know, that I've got on. And I can remember, I paid $2 for that at such and such. And, you know, I love that. That just tickles me to death because, you know, there's so many things out there that are so expensive. And this time of year, being close to Christmas... Everybody is so focused on commercialism. And you know what I'm finding, though? Every time you turn around and you hear somebody talking about the commercialism, I think a lot of people really don't like the commercialism that goes on, but they don't know how to stop being in the rat race, especially with Christmas and stuff like that, buying presents. It's tough for us because, you know, we've got these grandkids and their kids, and, and it's our family's big, big now. It's not just, I mean, you got four kids, four spouses, and five grandkids on top of that. So there's 15 of us, and we all are together just in that, not counting extended family. And uh, it makes it tough. It makes it real tough to try to do things for Christmas. But I like to try to make a lot of things if I can. And uh, I don't know, maybe as we do some of these things here i may come up with some things i seen on roots and refuge if you haven't seen roots and refuge done some uh, pvc guns the other day and if i can i cannot figure out i have to do all my stuff on the phone so i can't figure out how to get my cards put on my videos through doing my phone it maybe i'll figure it out eventually but i haven't really had time so I'll probably put it down in the description below. But Roots and Refuge, a PVC gun that was really cool that you use marshmallows to shoot it with. You blow them through it. But I'm probably going to do that for my grandsons because i got four grandsons and that would be a really good one for them. Actually, my granddaughter would probably love it too because she's a little tomboy. She's the baby of four others. Well, she's the baby and she's got three brothers. And then I have another grandson, so i got five. But she's the boss, she's the baby, and she can get in there with the best of them and do whatever they do. <laughs> she ain't afraid to try it for sure. Sometimes she's the first one to try it. But maybe we'll come up with some more ideas 
that would be good Christmas gifts that's not too expensive and you you actually find a lot of people like things that you made them because it's just neat little ideas I know for the girls I'm going to make little sachets that's got I'm actually going to put rice in them with some essential oils in the rice and maybe I'll do a video on that to show you how I did that. My craft room is upside down because we, it's a tool room and everything else. So I've debated on even doing that in there. You see my upside down room, but I may still do it anyway. Just know that that ain't what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs> um, but maybe I'll do that because with those sashes, the thing with those is you can put them in your drawers to help keep your you know, different things smelling pretty and all that kind of good stuff. And I made them to where you can put rice in them so that you can take them out, put them in the microwave. If you know you're going to a ball game or something like that, heat them up, put them in your pockets, and it'll keep your hands warm. And it'll probably cause the essential oils to really come out of them, smell stronger too, as well. So, And you could reuse them for that matter. You can put oil down in it, you know, if you wanted to do that too. But... I will do a video on that. I will. I, I need to do a video on that. That would be a good one. But anyway, until next time, God bless.